In today's episode, we are talking life insurance sales, specifically how to determine which types of life insurance products you should recommend to your clients. ASG episode 88, Life Insurance for Each of Life's Stages, written by Blaine Waterloo. Agents should review their clients' life insurance needs at least every five years because in every stage of life, coverage is a necessity. In an April 2018 LIMRA study, one in five people with life insurance said they don't have enough, so a checkup can go a long way. Since September is Life Insurance Awareness Month, let's review the typical life insurance needs at each life stage. Single adults. Single adults tend to neglect the need for life insurance since they have no one financially depending on them, but life insurance is important even at this stage of life. In this stage, life insurance can cover the cost of unpaid college loans, credit card debt, or a mortgage in addition to a funeral. Plus, purchasing life insurance when your clients are younger and healthier means much lower rates than if they wait. Products you can recommend for single adults include term insurance and cash value insurance. What about your clients who are newly married? When one life becomes two lives, life insurance becomes much more important. Incomes as well as debts are now shared. During this stage, a death will leave the surviving spouse fully responsible for the remaining debt. A life insurance calculator can help determine the right amount of insurance that would be needed in case of a sudden loss of income. Also, investing in life insurance for both spouses can help if and when they are in the position of caring for an aging parent. Products you can recommend for newly married clients include term life insurance and a term slash permanent life insurance combination product. Parents. As a parent, Providing for your child as they grow and in the future is one of your highest priorities. In this stage, life insurance needs to pay for the child's care for 18 years or more if you include the cost of college expenses. Not to mention covering the loss of one parent's income, the remaining parent will need enough coverage to pay bills until the child is an adult. It's also important that both parents have life insurance in the event of the unexpected, not just the primary breadwinner. For clients in this life stage, you can recommend term life insurance and riders covering a disability or critical illness. What about life insurance for children? Parents should consider purchasing life insurance for their kids while they are still young. Many parents believe that their children will outlive them and the cost of a funeral for a child is not something most parents have budgeted for. Cash value permanent life insurance when purchased when the child is a juvenile locks in extremely low rates, whereas the same product can be cost prohibitive as a young adult. Additionally, purchasing this product for children can allow a significant cash value to accrue into adulthood and provide tax-free assistance to fund college, a first home, or that first car. The products you can recommend to parents looking to cover their kids include traditional whole life products and index universal life products. Business owners. You might not think so, but life insurance should be considered in addition to business insurance. For this stage, life insurance covers any debts the business has acquired in the event of the death of an owner. If the business is not incorporated and the owner passes away, the family of the owner could be responsible for any outstanding business debt, which could be financially devastating for the surviving family members. Products you can recommend to business owners include key person life insurance as well as a cross-purchase agreement. How about starting over? Unfortunately, not all families remain intact throughout an entire lifetime. In the event of a divorce, remarriage, or the addition of children or stepchildren later in life, life insurance needs may change significantly. 
With each of these life-changing events, clients with policies currently in place should always review and update the beneficiaries on each of their policies. There are actually many cases where a divorcee is ordered by the court to purchase life insurance to cover the cost of child support payments if something should happen to them. Products you can recommend for clients in this stage include term life insurance to cover court-mandated child support payments and additional term or permanent life insurance to cover needs of additional children or stepchildren. Empty nesters. Once children are grown up and have moved out on their own, clients at this stage may not need as much life insurance as they once did. During this stage, income protection is still important, along with final expense protection for any outstanding debts. This is the time to focus on term life policies that may be expiring. Clients should review their coverage and consider an appropriate amount of permanent coverage or term conversion possibilities now that their children have moved out. It's also key to remember that each spouse should have a life insurance policy, regardless of who makes more money. Products you can recommend for empty nesters include whole life policies and permanent products with long-term care riders. Retirees. At this point, cash value from current life insurance can come into play for supplemental retirement income. In this stage, life insurance proceeds can provide lost Social Security income replacement for a surviving spouse or a legacy to pass on to their children and...